Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. And today's video is about my long-term review on the 2012 Toyota Prius. Now, I am somebody who have been crazy about cars, but of course, less so over the years. So some of the cars that I own, obviously being a, an SME owner myself, there are some vehicles that gets rotated around uh, my guys for the purpose of delivery, commute, etc, whatever. Now this particular 2012 uh, Toyota Prius is actually driven by a relative of mine and it's actually due for a renewal. Not in the sense of uh, renewing the COE but we, I actually have to make a decision right now. Do I sell it? for a brand new car which was actually the original intention i actually planned to trade this in for a uh, nissan kicks but then having driven it for like the last uh, two weeks or i would say maybe the past month and given its condition the condition is still very very good i had no expectation and the prius actually lives up to its name I mean, look, of course, um, the Prius isn't like a very, very fancy car. Okay, wait, hang on. The highlights are a little bit blown out. Okay, a little bit better. So the Prius isn't an ultra fancy car. And the whole point of having another car in the household is to get you from point A to point B. Just no fuss, minimal maintenance. And the best part about this is that when I brought it to the workshop, um, the mechanic actually said to me that, you know, this car is going to be very easy to maintain going forward. Plus, I don't have to deal with a brand new Quantum when I buy a brand new car, you know, and that is really, it takes, I mean, it is a, it is a financial liability at the end of the day. I mean, what makes sense for, especially for myself is how much yield can I generate from owning a car like this? Um, the odd deliveries that I have to make, the convenience of using it to like ferry my kids here and there. In fact, there are several benefits to owning a Toyota Prius. Now, bear in mind, this is a 2012 model. And if you go on YouTube, there are tons of videos. Apparently, there were celebrities that were you know, endorsing the Toyota Prius, one of which was, I think, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, he's a huge, you know, green, eco-friendly kind of a guy. But I was pleasantly surprised that the the Prius and I have this obsession and this obsession about me you know driving cars is that I like to fill it to the maximum and I'm pretty sure most of you out there are the same I have an obsession about you know obviously filling it right to the brim and then after that you know just depleting and see how good the mileage is and I am super surprised and this is uh, this is not something that I have uh, done deliberately you know I've been putting it through its paces, driving from point A to point. I've been doing countless deliveries. And guess what? I'm just going to turn the camera around. I'm just going to show it to you. And there we go. That's the dash of a 2012 Toyota Prius. And as you can see, I've got two bars left on the right. It's almost empty. But if you can see under trip A on the top left-hand corner, I am currently at 563.5 kilometers. And I think by the time I go to right to the bottom, I would be able to clock at least 600, probably more than 600 kilometers. And I'm actually gonna only conclude the video when I finally go above 600 kilometers. So am I gonna change my mind about trading this vehicle in? Hell yeah. I don't think I'm gonna trade in this vehicle. If anything at all, I think I'm gonna continue driving it. And if any one of you out there are in the market for to buy or to purchase a used 2012 Toyota Prius, I actually highly recommend it. I think it is a very cost-effective car to own. Um, it's eco-friendly. I mean, it's not pure electric. Pure electric in Singapore, again, uh, doesn't quite make any sense. If any one of you out there owns a Tesla in Singapore, let me know the cost of ownership. I think it is something that um, makes no sense. I mean, the edit, I mean, you should technically pay a little bit lesser. You know, there was some 
debate about this on, on the local papers. But anyway, um, Toyota, Toyota Prius uh, makes a lot of sense in terms of the road tax, the insurance, um, the mileage that you get from it. It's, it's perfect. And if you are somebody who's simple, no fails, don't really care about like fast cars, you know, I'm just way over there. The Toyota Prius can be a really good choice. So let's see what the mileage is at the end of the day and uh, let's check that out. Okay, holy crap, what kind of sorcery is this? As soon as I try to push this above 600 kilometers, this thing starts to blink. So looks like I have to. Um, I, I looks like I have to give it another top up. So that was done on the full tank of 95 octane patrol. I could probably shoot for 92 maybe, but I don't want to go 92. So I'm gonna go for 95. I just realized that there is no more 92 octane in Singapore. Anyway, I made it to Shell Patrol Station with the final mileage of 569. So I've just given the Prius C a full tank of patrol. And this time round, I paid $60 for 95 octane. I am very, very surprised that it's $60 uh, because I, I actually thought that the last time I filled it to the maximum, it was actually 72 or something, but full tank. $60 and if I'm going to consistently get 563 kilometers worth of mileage that is so amazing if I am going to pay a little bit more attention to the eco mode I could probably squeeze a lot more mileage uh, out of this 2012 uh, Toyota Prius that's the end of today's video I hope you guys liked it and if you have any tips on fuel efficient cars to own in Singapore if you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. And until the next video, you guys take care. Bye-bye.